Is Will Phillip Rivers make the NFL Hall of Fame? Now, I'm not making this this segment to say if I feel Phillip Rivers is a Hall of Famer or not. I'm pretty much trying to give you guys a logical explanation of will the NFL Hall of Fame allow him in. I'm not making this video to say my personal opinion if Phillip Rivers is a Hall of Famer or not. I'm making this video to try to kind of predict if the NFL Hall of Fame were induct Phillip Rivers into Canton. Now, when you look at Phillip Rivers, he definitely has the stats to be in the NFL Hall of Fame. Like, I definitely believe that there is no possible way that Phillip Rivers should not be in Canton, Ohio, and within the next decade or so. Now, will he be a first ballot Hall of Famer? That remains to be decided. But when you look at Phillip Rivers, he pretty much is top five in every statistical category for a quarterback. He's fifth all-time in passing yards with 63,440. He's fifth all-time in passing touchdowns with 421. He's fifth all-time in pass completions. He's an eight-time Pro Bowler. He won 2013 Comeback Player of the Year. Like, Phillip Rivers is definitely going to get into the Hall of Fame. Okay, now do I believe that Philip Rivers deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? Yes, I do, but that's not what this video is about. This video is titled, Will Philip Rivers Make It Into the Hall of Fame? Not, does Philip Rivers deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? But even then, you still, I still would make the argument that he deserves to be in. But Philip Rivers has been one of the best at his position ever since he became the starting quarterback for the LA Chargers. Now, the NFL Hall of Fame was built to memorialize and commemorate some of the best players to ever play the game at their position. You look at Phillip Rivers, you look at what he did during his time with the Chargers, he was essentially one of the best in the game. Now, he wasn't a top three quarterback all the time or top five, but at worst, he was always in the top 10 discussion. Now, you can say, well, JT, he didn't get the Chargers to the playoffs all that much. He didn't have a lot of postseason success. I can understand that. But at the same time, the Hall of Fame isn't about memorializing, you know, what somebody did in the playoffs. It's not about memorializing what everybody did in regular season. It's about memorializing the guys who have had some of the greatest careers in NFL history. When you look at Phillip Rivers' overall body of work, it stacks up against some of the best to ever play. Like, the argument for Eli Manning not getting into the Hall of Fame is, well, he wasn't a great regular season quarterback. But he elevated his play in the playoffs. And he does have a pretty good overall body of work. Okay? Let's not make it seem like Eli Manning was a scrub. But Phillip Rivers has an easier Hall of Fame case than Eli Manning. Because he was top 10 at his position for pretty much the, his whole entire career, winding down to his final playing years. And on top of that, this is a guy who was an eight-time Pro Bowler. He won Comeback Player of the Year. Like, Phillip Rivers has had a lot of success. He has a lot of accolades. He has the, you know, the records that stack up. You know, he's the best quarterback in Chargers history. Like, he's one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played a game. Now, some people are going to say, well, JT, if you have to think about somebody being a Hall of Famer, then they shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. I don't think that's true because sometimes you do have guys who have complex arguments for why they shouldn't or should not be in the Hall of Fame. Not every guy you look at, you're just going to give the eyeball and be like, oh, yeah, he should be a Hall of Famer. There's going to be some players that end up being debated. Like the NFL Hall of Fame is really hard to get into. The NBA seems to let everybody in the Hall of Fame for some reason. But for the NFL, it's really hard. Like, there are a lot of good players who you can make a case who should be in the Hall of Fame who probably won't make it. But you look at Phillip Rivers, he's definitely not in that discussion. He's definitely not in the same boat as Eli Manning. Phillip Rivers has been one of the best quarterbacks to ever play. Now, is he in the same class as a Ben Roethlisberger or whatnot? Maybe not. But he definitely deserves a gold jacket. Because... I will find it hard to tell the story of the NFL without Phillip Rivers. I just don't think you can. Like, Phillip Rivers, everybody thinks about the trash talking, 
what he, you know, all of the kids that he has and whatnot. But when this guy was on the field, he balled out. And you can't hold Phillip Rivers not making it to the playoffs every single year against him because the Chargers were a really inconsistent franchise. Like, yeah, he had some seasons where he had a really good team around him, but he also had a lot of seasons, more times than not, where he had instability at the coaching staff, instability in the front office, and didn't have a good team around him. Phillip Rivers was sacked over 400 times in his career. He is one of the most sacked quarterbacks in NFL history. So you look at Phillip Rivers, he had instability. Like, if Phillip Rivers went to a better organization, a more stable organization, we probably would be making in the argument that he may be one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever played in a game, top, top five. So for Phillip Rivers, I feel like the only reason why some people don't believe Phillip Rivers will get into the Hall of Fame is because they don't think that he has had the postseason success to be a Hall of Famer. And you don't have to have great postseason success to be a Hall of Famer. Like I said, the Hall of Fame is meant to memorialize some of the greatest to ever play. It's meant to memorialize the guys who have had good careers overall. Not about what you've done in the postseason. Not about what you've done in the regular season. You have to have somewhat of a mixture of both. And although Phillip Rivers hasn't done great in the postseason, it's not like he doesn't have a running record in the postseason at all. He's won some games in the postseason. He just hasn't been to the Super Bowl, and he doesn't have a Super Bowl ring. Doesn't mean he's not a Hall of Famer. Dan Marino never won a Super Bowl. He's in the Hall of Fame. So when you look at Phillip Rivers... I definitely believe that he will make it into the NFL Hall of Fame. And if you don't believe Phillip Rivers will get into the NFL Hall of Fame, then I don't know. Maybe you need to look at yourself in the mirror. Maybe you need to reevaluate how you look at football. Because making it to the playoffs year in and year out doesn't define if a guy's a Hall of Famer. A Hall of Famer is a guy who has put in forth the work that he should be memorialized in the shrine with some of the greatest to ever play. And I definitely feel like Phillip Rivers deserves to be in the Hall of Fame with guys like Joe Montana, Brett Favre, because he was one of the best at his position. That's what the NFL is about. That's one of the criteria to get into the NFL. How did you stack up against your peers? How did you stack up against your cohorts? How did you stack up against the other guys at your position? Where were you ranked against some of the other guys at your position? And when you look at Phillip Rivers throughout his career, he's always been, at least when he was in his prime, one of the best. He's always been at least top five or no worse than top 10 for pretty much his whole entire career. So if I see a guy who's been a top 10 quarterback for pretty much his whole entire career, I think that goes to be a good indicator that he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. And you know, his accolades and what he's done on the field speaks for itself. So